So I've been in the Air Force for roughly nine years now. I've seen this occur at all the big ports and this is something that a lot of people chalk up as the cost of doing business. So basically when that 463L cargo pallet transfers from the 60K loader over onto the aircraft floor, it sometimes hits omnidirectional rollers and right now the logistics rail system is exposed. And then it's estimated that it costs around $8,300 to replace each rail and about eight man hours to accomplish this. So the K-Wedge is actually a lot cheaper. It costs about $500 with parts and labor. And as little as one minute, you can install it on the aircraft floor using existing um, tie-down rings. And that's what secures this to the floor. So by having the ring come through here and providing necessary tension using a cargo strap and hook it onto the, uh, under the ring that's protruding out of the slot, and it runs all the way back to the next existing tie-down ring, and then you ratchet it up and it's good to go. It stays in place, it doesn't move, and we've measured this specifically to uh, protect the rail system. It comes out to about right here. After a few rail incidents, I went into PowerPoint and I you know, created the design, I took measurements, and I got in touch with the 379 EMXS and got a hold of Tech Sergeant Bittner and Staff Sergeant Davis. They were willing to, uh, to help me out and put this thing together and do the fabricating, so um, I have to you know, give some credit to those guys. They, they really stepped up and helped out when they didn't have to and have been very supportive throughout this entire process. Mainly that's the reason why we decided to come up with this is to kind of safeguard and protect our airmen as well as the rail system, save the Air Force money, and propel rapid global mobility.